Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, install, configure and use MySQL on your Ubuntu operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your terminal. To open the terminal, you can press uh, Control Alt T keys and it will open the terminal or you can uh, just go to the applications and then click on the terminal option. Once the terminal is open, just give these commands. I'm going to give these commands in the description of this video also, so you can directly copy them. The first command is sudo apt update and then press enter and then give your Ubuntu's password, which is going to update the index of packages on Ubuntu. Once that command is finished successfully, let me clear the terminal. The second command here is sudo apt install mysql hyphen server okay give this command and then press enter and it's going to install the mysql server press y here and then press enter once again and let the installation to complete now once this command is successful mysql server is installed successfully on your ubuntu operating system so let me clear the terminal once again. Now in order to check whether uh, MySQL server is started or not on, or what is the status of MySQL server service, you can give this command, which is sudo systemctl status and then the name of your MySQL service, which is mysql.service. And you can see it's active and running. If it says it stopped or it crashed or something else, what you can do, just press on Q key on your uh, keyboard. And then instead of status, you can just give this command start. Okay. So sudo system CTL start mysql.service, it's going to start the mysql service. But this command you will only require if you don't see active here, active and running here, right? So in my case, it's active and running, so I don't need to do anything. If it's not active and running in your case, you can give this command so that uh, this mysql.service is started. Okay, so once that's successful, we can start using mysql on our Ubuntu operating system. Now, just give this command sudo mysql and then press enter and you are in your mysql shell right so without doing anything everything is working fine and you can uh, start using the mysql now if you want to exit from uh, your mysql client you can just write exit command and then press enter and you came out of your mysql shell so let me clear the terminal once again. Now let's do some uh, security related uh, configurations like setting the password and uh, other things. And for this, you need to run this command, which is sudo mysql underscore secure installation. Okay, so sudo mysql hyphen uh, secure hyphen installation and then press enter. And here, read all the text carefully, right? Validate password component can be used to test uh, passwords and improve security. It checks the strength of password and allow uh, the user to set only those passwords which are secure enough. Would you like to validate the password? For the demonstration purposes, I'm going to uh, press no here or N here. But in your case, if you are doing this in production, you might need to choose the Y key, right? So I'm going to choose N for now, but in your case, you might want to choose the Y key. Now, new password. This is the password which uh, you have to give in order to connect to your MySQL server, right? So choose this password carefully. I'm going to choose simple password for the demonstration purposes, right? 
I will retype this password and then press enter. And it says failed error set password has no significance for user root as authentication method. And it also says please consider using alter user instead if you want to change the authentication. So let's try to solve this problem. So this is the common problem which occurs and you don't need to worry about this. This is a very common uh, problem. So for now, I will just close this, ter this terminal. You can just uh, close this without doing anything. Open a new terminal and let's see how we can uh, solve this problem, right? So just write sudo mysql command and then uh, give your Ubuntu's password, which will uh, lead you to this mysql shell. And here you need to give this command alter user root at a uh, localhost identified with mysql native password by your password. So here you can give a very simple password or complex password. It depends on you. I'm going to give the very simple password, which is root here. Let me copy this uh, line. I'm going to give this command in the description of this video also, and then paste it here in the MySQL shell, right? And then press enter. And it says query okay, zero rows affected, right? And then you can exit out of uh, the MySQL shell, okay? Once again, give this uh, sudo mysql secure installation command and then it's asking me to give the root password. So I'm going to give the same password which I have provided here, which is root in my case, right? So I'm going to just write root and here once again, it's asking me to uh, choose a strong or uh, uh, weak password. For my case, as I said, I will select uh, no, but in your case, you might want to select a very strong password. And then it says change the password for root. I have already set the password, so I don't want to do this. If you want, you can change it. I will just press any other key to just move forward. And in the next step, it says by default, MySQL installation has an anonymous user allowing everyone to log into uh, MySQL without having to uh, have a user account created for them, right? So as I said, this is for the learning purposes and the demonstration purposes. So I'm going to select N. In your case, you might want to choose Y if you want to run this in the production environment. And then it says normally root should only be allowed to connect from localhost this ensures someone cannot guess uh, at the root password from the network. This allow root login remotely. I will say no once again, press enter. Remove test database. I don't want to remove test with database. So I will say no again and then press enter. And it says reload privilege table now. I will say yes and then press enter and everything is done successfully. Now let's again try to uh, log into MySQL. So I'm going to just give uh, this MySQL command and this time I want to use the root user. So hyphen u root hyphen p and then press enter. And then this time it will ask me to provide the root password, right? I have set the root password as root as you can see here. So I'm going to give the same password. You need to give the password you have set. And now I'm in my MySQL shell, right? So everything is working fine. Now let's try to install the GUI tool to interact with our MySQL database, which is called MySQL Workbench. So to do that, let's go to our browser. And this time we are going to install MySQL Workbench using snap package manager snap package manager is created from the makers of ubuntu itself so it's a nicer way of installing packages just search for snap uh, mysql workbench and the first link which will appear here will be from snapcraft.io so just click on that link and from here you can install different versions right 
just click on install uh, button here and then copy this command which is sudo snap install mysql workbench community and then uh, let me just exit from this terminal clear this terminal and then paste this uh, command here which is sudo snap install mysql workbench community it's going to install this gui client for mysql so that uh, you can use this GUI client from next time to interact with your MySQL server, right? Once this command is finished, uh, MySQL Workbench is installed. So you can either go to your application and search for uh, MySQL Workbench and you can see this icon here, MySQL Workbench. Click on the MySQL Workbench. Let me minimize everything else here. And then it's going to start this MySQL workbench here, right? The default port for uh, MySQL is 3306, you can see. So I can uh, just click on this uh, local instance connection here. And here you need to give the password. As I said, in my case, the password is simple, which is root, which I have set. But uh, if you have set the different password, give the password here and then click on OK, which is going to connect to your local MySQL server and it's going to show you this kind of interface, right? So now here you can see all instances, server status, uh, client connections, right? So everything you will be able to see from this MySQL workbench. So here you have uh, the option to create tables, option to create schemas and all the other things, right? So this is how you can um, install MySQL Workbench, which is a GUI tool to interact with your MySQL database. So here you can see you have the option to connect to your database if you have already created a database. And uh, if you haven't created a database, you can create one. So default schema, the schema to use as default schema, leave blank to select later, right? Click OK. And then you are uh, connected to the local instance, which is here also, we were already connected to the local instance already in the first tab. So that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.